Hello students, let's do set concepts exercise 6a. Exercise 6a is on page number 82. Question 5. Express each of the following sets in the set builder notation or the set builder form. Now what is the set builder notation? If you look at this question, can you see that all the elements are already given to us within curly brackets? Now this method is the roster method. Now if you have to express this in the set builder notation, we will not write the elements, the actual elements we will not write. Instead, we will write a short statement or a formula to help us understand what the elements are. So the direct elements are not given. Okay, so we don't have the actual elements, but in an indirect way, we are told what the elements are. Now, first thing that we need to do is look at these elements and identify what kind these are. Are they all odd numbers? No. Are they all even numbers? No. 3, 6, 9, 12 and 15 are all in the tables of 3. They're all multiples of 3. Okay, but are they going on endlessly? No, they're stopping at 15. So there are different ways of writing it. So we will show you that. So here, X is such that you must always start a set builder notation like this. X is such that X is. Now, what does X stand for? X stands for every element inside. Like I said, in the set builder form, we don't give the actual element, but we are telling indirectly what the element is. So we are saying that X is a natural number. So it's a natural number and natural numbers are all starting from 1. Now we are not stopping with that. We are saying it's a natural number divisible by 3. So if you have numbers, they should be divisible by 3. Then we are also saying that X should be less than 18. That means 18 is the multiple after 15. So x is less than 18. So how do we read this? x is such that x is a natural number divisible by 3 and x is less than 18. Another way of writing it is x is such that x is a multiple of 3 and x is less than 18. You can write that also or you can also say x is such that x is a natural number divisible by 3 and x is, now here we can say, x is less than and equal to 15. Can you see that if you're going to use less than and equal to, then we can say it is less than 15, but it's also equal to 15. So if you're using this, less than and equal to, this is how you need to write. So there are different ways of writing the set builder form. So the set builder form will tell us what the elements inside a set will be. They will not give us the actual elements, but they will give us a hint. They will give us a rule, a statement or a formula to tell us what the elements are inside. Let's look at the next question. Here we have elements like 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and these dots indicate that the numbers are going on endlessly. Now, what are these numbers? 2 is an odd number, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. 2 is an even number. 2 is an even number and all the other numbers are odd numbers. So, what are these numbers? They are not multiples of some number. Now, if you look carefully, you can identify them as prime numbers. So, these are all prime numbers. That means x is a prime number and x is goes on endlessly, isn't it? So you don't have to say it's less than something or it's greater than something. It's going on endlessly. So let's write that. X is such that X is a prime number. So all you have to write is this much because when I say X is a prime number, I can start writing from the first prime number, which is 2. Remember, 2 is the only even prime number. All the others are odd numbers. So this is how we write the set builder notation for this question. Question 3, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. Now, what are these numbers now? Okay, if you look at this 1, then we have 4. How did we get to 4 and then 9 and 16? If you look carefully, these are all squares. Squares of which numbers? Natural numbers. So, let me write down some natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven. Now let me take the squares of these numbers. 1 into 1 is 1. 1 square is 1. 
2 square 2 2 is a 4, 3 square 3 3 is a 9, 4 square 4 4 is a 16, 5 square 5 5 is a 25, 6 square 6 6 is a 36, 7 square 7 7 is a 49. Now, if you look carefully here, we have 1, 4, 9. Let's check here. 1, 4, 9. Then here we have 16, 25, 36. 16, 25, 36. We don't have 49. So we can remove this 49 and we can remove the 7 square. So what are these numbers here? They're all the squares of the first 6 natural numbers. They're the squares of the first 6 natural numbers. And they're less than and equal to 36. Or you can write the next number and say they're less than 49. So let's write the statement. So x is a perfect square natural number. So these are all perfect squares and they are all natural numbers. And x is less than and equal to 36. So this is how we write this one. We'll go on to the next one now. Question 4. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. It goes on and on. The dots indicate that the numbers are going on endlessly. Now, what are all these numbers? They're all even numbers, isn't it? And they're all divisible by 2. They're all multiples of 2. So, there are different ways of writing it. We can say x is a whole number divisible by 2. Okay, so x is a whole number. Whole numbers start from 0 and it is divisible by 2. So, they're all even numbers divisible by 2. Listen 5. Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. These are the first three days of the week. So, how do we write that? We write it this way. x is such that x is one of the first three days of the week. So, x is Monday, or Tuesday and Wednesday. Question 6, 23, 25, 27, 29. Now, what do we know about these numbers? Now, if you look carefully, they're all odd numbers, isn't it? But they're starting from 23, but we don't know where it's ending. So, they're all odd numbers from 23 onwards. So, how do we write that? We can say that x is such that, what is x? x is an odd natural number. Still, they're all natural numbers, they're all odd numbers, but there is one more condition. x is greater or equal to 23. It's greater than and equal to 23. So here can you see that? That means it's equal to 23. 23 is there and it's also greater than 23. Can you see the numbers greater than 23? And since we don't have an ending number, we don't say the other part that it's less than some number. So we'll stop with this. So x is an odd natural number that we know. And one more condition is x is greater than and equal to 23. Next one, question 7. Here we have fractions. Can you see the numerators are all 1 and the denominators are 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So when you say about x, you can say that x is a fraction and in the fraction, what is the denominator? You don't have to talk about the numerator because they're all 1. So the numerator will be 1. Now the denominator, you have to start with 3. It's equal to 3. But at the same time, it's greater than 3 also. And then you end by saying it's equal to 8. But at the same time, it's less than 8 also. So how do we write that? We write it like this. X is such that X is equal to 1 by N. 1 by N when N. N is all these denominators because this is in the denominator. N is a natural number. Can you see? They're all natural numbers. But there is one more condition. So you start with the first number that is 3 and you end with the last number that's 8 and put n in between. Now, n is equal to 3, isn't it? Because 3 is there. At the same time, it's greater than 3 also. So you can say n is greater than and equal to 3. At the same time, n is equal to 8 because 8 is there and n is less than 8 also. So this is how you have to show that. So write the first number and the last number. So n is equal to the first number and the last number. At the same time, n is greater than 3 but less than 8 also. Next one, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70 and 77. These all look familiar, isn't it? Because they're all in the tables of 7. 
So they're all divisible by 7 or they're all multiples of 7. That is the first thing. But there are conditions here. We have the multiple starting from 42 and it's ending with 77. So how do we write that? So we say that x is a natural number divisible by 7. That is the first part. They're all natural numbers. They're all divisible by 7. Now the second part must tell us correctly. So start with the first number and write it. Then start, put the second number, the last number at the end and put x in between. So let me repeat that. Take the first number in the set and put it down. Take the last number in the set and put it down and put x in between both these numbers. Now x is equal to 42. 42 is already there. At the same time, it's greater than 42 also, isn't it? So we say x is greater than and equal to 42. Similarly, look at 77. x is equal to, the dash underneath will say equal to. It's equal to 77. At the same time, there are numbers less than 77 also. So we say x is less than and equal to 77. So whenever you have the less than and greater than symbol with a dash underneath, that means it says equal to also. Okay, so this is how we write this. X is a natural number divisible by 7 and X is greater than and equal to 42 and less than and equal to 77. Question 6. Given, now we have sets A, B, C, D. Write the sets A, B, C and D in the roster form. So here we have been given in the set builder notation. The actual elements are not given. But based on this, we have to write the actual elements. So let's read this. A is equal to x such that x is a multiple of 2. Remember, x is a multiple of 2 means all the even numbers, but it is less than 25. So all the multiples of 2 that are less than 25, we need to write. So what are those multiples? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, because it is less than 25. Question B. Let's read this. What, does, what are the elements of set B? X is such that X is a square of a natural number, but it is less than 25. So X is a square of a natural number, which is less than 25. Let's write down some natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And let's write the squares of these numbers. So 1 square, 1 1's are 1. It's a natural number, that's why I'm starting with 1. 2 square, 2 2's are 4. 3 square, 3 3's are 9. 4 square, 4 4's are 16. 5 square, 5 5's are 25. 6 square, 6 6's are 36. Now what does the question say? Less than 25. That means we cannot write 25 and 36. We only have to write these four numbers. So let's write that. So that will be B is equal to 1, 4, 9 and 16. Question C. What are the elements of set C? X is such that X is a multiple of 3. So we have to write all multiples of 3. But keep in mind it should be less than 25. So what are the multiples of 3? Starting with 3. 3 1s are 3. 3 2s are 6. 3 3s are 9. 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15, 3 6s are 18, 3 9, 3 7s are 21, 3 8s are 24, which will be less than 25, 3 9s are 27, which we cannot write, so we stop with 24. Let's write that 3 6 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and 24. Question D What are the elements of set D? X is such that X is a prime number. So the elements of set D are all prime numbers, but they should be less than 25. So what are all the prime numbers less than 25? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19 and 23. These are the prime numbers less than 25. Let's write that down. So we have them here. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19 and 23. So we have all these. So this is our answer. So with this children we come to the end of this exercise. Thank you children.